Overpopulation is becoming an issue more and more prevalent in our society as the human population increases exponentially. We are about to reach 8 billion people on Earth and don't know when we'll meet with the carrying capacity. United Nations estimates the human population will grow up to 10 billion people in 2050. This is a huge issue when it comes to climate change and increased carbon emissions, as the more people there are, the more electricity is needed, the more land is used, and the more resources are taken up, leading to an increase in carbon emissions on our planet. This is an issue that impacts every single person on our planet, as every single person takes up their own amount of space, resources, and energy. This especially applies to those living in urban areas, as this is where the population grows the fastest. Although this isn't an issue that impacts us now, it will become a problem very fast in 2050, as estimated by environmental scientists. We need to think of solutions fast to stop the issue from getting out of control, both on the big and small scale. Improving health and education for women creates a big impact on preventing overpopulation in the far future. When access to women's reproductive health, as well as social and political empowerment, increases, scientists have observed that fertility in women decreases. We can address this topic and teach others about women's issues by discussing women's health issues in schools and making it a part of the public school curriculum. Additionally, making this kind of information more accessible to the adult population in general will help others educate themselves in this matter. Educating women about their own health is not the only way we can prevent overpopulation. Scientists studying climate change have projected that simply by providing women with a more well-rounded, accessible education, it can make a significant impact on reducing carbon emissions. This solution strives to distribute all available resources evenly and prevent food waste as much as possible. Each supermarket should hold a maximum amount of products one can purchase based on how big each household is. This way, overproduction and underproduction in third world countries can be avoided and the amount of food gone to waste will be reduced. Reducing food waste is one of the most impactful solutions one can implement when reducing carbon. If entire countries follow these regulations, its impact will hold many benefits for our future not only in reducing carbon, but making sure that everyone, no matter where they are, can have enough resources in order to lead decent lives. Electricity, heat, transportation, and industry are all part of each and every one of our lives, all of which are normally acquired through the burning of fossil fuels. What this means is that each and every one of us is in some way responsible for climate change and can make a change in our own personal lives in order to mitigate carbon emissions. You can contact your politicians online, advocate for reducing climate change, and suggest solutions. We recommend advocating for women's health education or for any other change regarding the decrease of carbon emissions that you wish to see in your community. You can reduce your own personal food waste by not buying what you know you won't eat, as well as using HelloFresh. HelloFresh sends perfectly proportioned groceries to your house. Another option is using a compost bin to dispose of organic material. You can spread awareness of the problem, as well as team up to implement solutions and create bigger change. Humans have not yet reached their carrying capacity, and the Earth is also bordering on its carrying capacity. This means that soon the Earth will not be able to support us as a human race. The high level of carbon is one of the main reasons for how our atmosphere is being impacted by the issue of overpopulation. We acknowledge that there are some issues that go undressed because they make the public uncomfortable, although we do believe that it's important to address these issues in order to prevent them. We need to recognize that the world is changing and we need to adapt by not taking our planet for granted. Take a stand to save our planet from ourselves, because the actions we make today will dictate what the future will look like tomorrow.